Hey guys, what is up? Today I have the jailbreak for the uh, 4.0 and uh, you don't need a UDID uh, for the Apple developers. This is just uh, regular 4.0 and the jailbreak. This only works for the uh, iPhone 3G and I think the iPod 2nd gen non-MC model. But um, I'm going to do it demonstrating on the iPhone 3G and this will now enable multitasking and um, the background wallpaper which is the two main features that they didn't include for the 3G so uh, what you're gonna do first is get I'll put the two links in the description to download the new red snow and this model is a uh, beta as you see right here it's uh, 0 0.9, uh, 0 0.5 and then a lot of other stuff but it's a beta red snow that will jailbreak 4.0 and we're obviously gonna need the uh, firmware itself and uh, this is the for the iPhone 3G this will be in the description so it's about 306 megabytes which is quite a bit but it's a reasonable size for the iPhone 3G so uh, as you see 4.0 right there 8A293 and that's what you need so basically right now we're going to uh, head over to iTunes and We'll just uh, go ahead and connect the model. All right, so you will see my phone right here. All right, so um, in iTunes right here, and uh, if you've been holding back on the update, go ahead and update your 9.2 iTunes. So uh, once you're here, you're gonna go ahead and hit the Alt and Option key on your Mac keyboard, or if you're on Windows, you're going to hit Shift. So on Mac, so I'm going to hit Alt and Option and click Restore. Then you get an option to choose your file. Right here, this is the file you're going to hit Choose. It's going to extract it and uh, do the firmware update. It takes about five minutes. After that is done, you will be running on 4.0. Alright, and um, 4.0 is nice, but you're still missing out on some features that are really nice, like the multitasking. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and jailbreak it. So we're going to open us. The link will be in the description to download the beta redstone. You're going to go ahead and hit browse and hit the same firmware you used to restore in iTunes. Hit open, and as you see right here, it's processing the firmware takes a few seconds and then it says it will successfully identified then we go next it's gonna download the kernel and all this other stuff that I don't really know and care but wait this wait for this to finish and I'll show you the cool options alright so here are the options you get to uh, choose and basically install Cydia that's obviously um, everyone's gonna do this if you jailbreak um, this is a verbose boot. This is if you want to unlock your phone. Custom boot logos, custom recovery logos. I, I personally leave these out. Enable multitasking. This is what you want to use if you want the multitasking feature, which I'm sure everyone wants it if you have a 3G. Enable the home screen wallpaper. That's what you want to and enable battery percent. So these are the three. You're going to go ahead and do this. Make sure your device is off. So go ahead and turn your device off. I'm not going to do, do this with you guys today because I've already done it and it uh, it's kind of takes a long process to do it again so you're gonna go ahead next and follow these instructions turn it on for three seconds hold the home and power button for 10 seconds and then after that it's um, gonna say uh, release the power button and keep holding so right here release the power button for 30 uh, and keep holding the home button for 30 seconds all right. Once that's done, uh, pretty much everything's done there, and it'll go ahead and run the uh, jailbreak on your phone uh, with the quick phone logo and stuff like that. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch over to the iPhone. All right, guys. So uh, you've done the jailbreak on the computer, and now you want to see what this jailbreak did. So we're gonna go ahead and slide it to unlock you get the nice wallpaper in the background and obviously if you know you upgraded to 4.0 without the jailbreak you cannot add a desktop wallpaper 
which is pretty sucks, which I don't know how they didn't add that. But also, another big bummer to every 3G owner is the multitasking. But now, as you saw, we enabled it, so if we double tap, you get multitasking, and that is pretty awesome. Just basically launch this up, go to the mail. As you see, that's really awesome. Switch to camera. So it's all goodies with the multitasking feature. I mean, that's the favorite feature. That's probably everyone's favorite feature in this 4.0. And also there is uh, folders. But uh, yeah, guys, as you see, you can ask, also add background wallpaper. And yeah, so uh, we enabled both of those features. And it came out to be a success. So thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace.